hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is the second video of the video series where we are learning how we can use an unmanaged VPS to host websites so in the previous video we purchased a VPS with the OS 2019 Windows Server and today we will see how we can install IIS role in that server so IIS role is basically the role which is responsible to host uh, websites on a VPS or on a Windows uh, server. Now I am using PyVPS for my VPS hosting provider. It has uh, plans which is very reasonable and the costing is very less in comparison to other VPS provider. So if you want to learn something then go for a plan which is uh, very cheap where you will get less resources but it also has many powerful VPS. So based on your requirement you can go for a higher configuration of uh, VPS. Now, previous video, we just saw how to purchase this VPS and uh, we learn how to connect to it. So today we will install IIS role in the server. So I have already logged into my VPS. So you will get the IP address and credentials in your VPS portal only. So follow the previous video to see how you will be able to get those. So let's proceed on this particular video. So first of all, in order to install the IIS role, you'll have to go to at the bottom this taskbar and click on this uh, Windows sign here, which shows start and uh, then click on server manager. So most of the roles we will be able to install it from the server manager, including the IIS role. Now this is how the server manager dashboard looks like. Now, first thing first, you will have to check whether IIS role is installed or not. So to do that, at top, second option is tools. Just uh, click on this and uh, check whether you are able to see an option called IIS. So that is none. It means IIS role is not installed here. So to install it, click on add roles and features here. So it will take you to a wizard where we will be able to install the IIS role here. Now here click on next again click on next click on next because the server is already selected and here you will be able to see an option called web server IIS just click on that and click on this uh, add feature and then click on next click on next again and then click on next once again so not much here you will have to do you will just have to click on next and uh, that's all click uh, once again uh, next now you will have to click on uh, install so this will take some time actually now it is going to install all of the services or the roles that you can uh, see here and uh, basically it may take around 15 to 20 minutes or it may take more than that so what i will do i will pause this video at this point of time and I will come back when the installation process is completed. So it took around 15 minutes for me but the installation process is completed. Now just close it and uh, let me just reload uh, this uh, console with uh, this option which is refresh dashboard. Now you will be able to see here that IIS and uh, this role is installed here. To verify this let's click on tools again and uh, here we are able to see IIS manager which is internet information service now let's click on it and let's see how it looks like so here is the console here let me just uh, maximize it click on the name of the server that is so this is basically the dashboard how the IIS manager looks like and most of the stuffs we will be doing it from here so by default at this point of time there will be a default site so this sites you can see it under this section called sites and you can see here default websites now once you click on it you will be able to see a option called browse website now if you will browse it then uh, so just click on microsoft edge here and click on ok now if you are able to see this page it means the successful installation of IIS manager is completed here. Now at the top, you will be able to see local host. 
So basically, instead of localhost, if you will give the IP address of the server as well, this will be accessible. But that is not the thing we want. We want an actual domain name to be visible here. So that we will do in the next video. So in the next video, we will see how we can buy a domain name and create a new website which will point to this Windows server. So that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the notification about the next video.